Shalom, it's Reuben Abramov. The Haftarah for the first day of Sukkot comes from the book of Zechariah. His name, Zechariah, God remembered, his parents chose that name. The longer version of the name is Zachariahu, that Yah, who, that there was a declaration of who our God was. So you have in the name a prophet, a holy man from his parents saying that we believe that God is going to remember us, and they named their child after that. So there's meanings to all the Jewish names that we have. So Zechariahu is part of the group of the men that are part of the return from the Babylonian exile. The Persians take over the empire, and now Kuresh, Cyrus, says all men are free to worship whomever they want, whatever god they want. Jews, you can go back to Israel. So they go back, and they start to rebuild the temple, and it, the process gets stopped. So now what? Zechariah comes on, and he says, well, guess what? This is all leading to the big, big war. The war to end all wars. Yes, some say Armageddon. Okay. Well, what is going to happen? Well, it says the day will come when all nations are going to attack the city of Jerusalem. And that this attack that goes on to the city of Jerusalem, half the people are not going to make it. The city will be destroyed, houses will be crushed, women will be raped. And that then, spooky, says God will come down in an anthropomorphic way, using physical words, and he will stand on Harzatim, and split the mountains and push it to the north. He uses the word mush, like when you say you whip a horse. Mush, move. And he has the two mountains separate and that there's going to be this valley that is going to run from east to west. As a matter of fact, it continues to say that the Mayim Chayim is going to come from this water. Now, he's describing what some people would say is this you know, apocalypse now kind of scene where it's hard to see what's day, what's night. But this war to end the wars is going to come. Half the people in Jerusalem are not going to make it because they did not follow in God's way. So it's using this uh, scaring people into keeping the mitzvot tactics. However, here's the promise of the future. Every day we say in the prayers, at the end of Aleinu L'Shabeach, it is upon us to give Shevach, to pray to God. V'haya Hashem l'melech al kol ha'aretz, v'yom ha'u yeh Hashem echad u'shvo echad. This pasuk that we say three times a day, and on Yom Kippur, we have saying that God, one God, the, the God Yud Kei Vav Kei, is going to be acknowledged globally by all peoples, of all religions. So there's one world, peace, no more fighting. This is what the prophet is discussing in the Haftarah, and that the borders of Jerusalem will expand north and south, east and west. And then he continues in this, like readers of the Lost Ark Haftarah, that he describes what's going to happen in this war, and it says that the people will be standing there and their flesh will melt off their bodies and their eyeballs will come out of their sockets, so many people came up to me and said, oh, you're scaring me. But this is what we saw in that movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, when they opened the ark. So maybe Spielberg read the Haftarah too. Thanks, Steve. So, there will be great confusion that somebody will reach out for, help me, help me, and the other guy will think, oh, he's trying to attack me, and he'll kill him. So he's describing this mass confusion. However, the Navi... And this is why we read the Haftarah on Sukkot. He says, listen, you have to keep the holiday of Sukkot. What's that? He says, everybody's required to go to Jerusalem and worship in God's temple on Sukkot and give this blessing that we have the special, the special holiday that we bless. We have the ceremonies for water. This was the time of year where we needed irrigation. So when we planted that the seeds would get planted with water and the growth would start off in, in, that, in that season. So here we're looking for this blessing. So it says that even the Egyptians have to come to Jerusalem and worship on Sukkot. So here's the end of the Haftarah that the day will come 
that every vessel, every utensil in the city of Jerusalem is going to be holy to God, and then we're going to worship God. So this is what Zechariah is telling everybody, is the message of that we have to lead our lives in a way that is spiritually holy, good to all mankind, in a loving way, and pray and worship to God that we feel connected to God. Hak Sameach.